Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Before we begin, don't forget your free 30-day trial of eVoice. eVoice gives you a toll-free or local number so you can take business calls from anywhere and always sound like you're at the office. Also, eVoice has great features like dial-by-name directory and even transcribes your voicemail so you can read them at your convenience. Go to MikeOmeraShow.com and click on the eVoice banner for your 30-day free trial. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeOmeraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Happy day after Halloween, Oscar. Happy uh, after Halloween day. So I guess it's All Saints Day. All Saints Day. Because it was All Hallows' Eve and now it's All Saints Day. Big Halloween news. Oh, and he's on time. I love when he's on time. Please welcome, if you would, popular costume, Bane. What do you mean, popular costume? You're one of the number one costumes yeah. for Halloween. I'm not a costume, I'm a man. <laughs> I'm, you will refer to me as your lord and master, Spiewak. You know, you've been teasing the fact that you're going to be in this week, and you know who's excited today? Who? All the Baniacs. <laughs> Screw them! <laughs> How was your Halloween? It was great. It was really good. Did you have a good Halloween yourself? I spent it where I spent all my Halloweens. Where? Where's that? Home. Oh, the pit? Oh. Where I learned about truth and despair, as will you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's a reason why my prison is the worst hell on earth. Do you know what it is? Oscar, you want to hear this? Why? Hope. What? Oh. Every man who has ventured here over the centuries has looked up to the light and imagined climbing to freedom, but there is no way. Oh, oh so you're talking smokestack. He's talking about his pit. Yeah. Silence! Oh. So Sorry. easy, so simple. And like shipwrecked men turning to seawater from an uncontrollable thirst... Many have died trying, but happy Halloween. Yeah, it's good to see you. Uh, did meant? you decorate the pit? I decorated it with uh, jack-o'-lanterns, Jack candy of, corn, jack of lanterns? strings of popcorn, or is that Christmas? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it can be for both. So hard to tell the seasons did you? when I'm down in this pit. <laughs> But I will re I will revisit Gotham shortly, and we will take it over. Do you uh, do you give the Baniacs full size or fun size candy? Fun size. <laughs> I have always felt there is no need to overindulge children. Yeah. They will become soft. I am hard. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> you really like kids, huh? That didn't come out the right <laughs> no, way. I'm sure you're fine. That did, did not you, come out the right way. Did you dress up for the holiday? That's funny. Is it? You know I don't wear a costume. I thought maybe something subtle. Let me I cannot you. wear a costume. <laughs> you have to get a big mask. I cannot fit the, the, the mask over my face. <laughs> a big rubber mask. With this apparatus that I wear in order to breathe and communicate. Does that apparatus, I always wondered, take triple A or double A? <laughs> That's so. Uh, I'm glad you're having fun at my expense, but we will take Gotham from the corrupt. I promise you. Oh, we don't like to talk about politics here. Come no, on. let's talk about the holidays. May I ask a question? Yeah. This speaks to the future of Gotham and the entire world. Oh, it's an important question, then. Rob, Oscar, yes. Dane, what is your favorite candy? <laughs> I enjoy Snickers. Snickers satisfies. Yes, it does. Rob? You know what I like, and it's sort of a curveball. What's that? Circus peanuts. Circus peanuts? Yeah, the orange circus marshmallow peanuts. Are you out of your mind? I'm not. I swear I will bring my minions down upon you. Circus peanuts, you them. bald, oversized maniac. What happened to the classic Reese's peanut butter cup? That's a great candy, too. A wonderful but candy. Doesn't I, that always get stuck in your mask if it's all gooey? I put them in blenders and I drink them as a fluid. I was, you know, I think the so flavor I, is strangely unaffected. <laughs> hey, does it get hot down <laughs> the in the... The combination of peanut butter and chocolate goes through my straw and into my throat. Doesn't it get hot in the pit? Oh, it gets unbearably hot. So chocolate melts. It's Well, it's all right if you're putting it in a blender. I want to soften it. Are you listening to him? No. no that's Never a good idea. No, here's a question. Here's a question. I wanted to I you. will raise an oh, army okay. of Here men. We will take Gotham back. It will be ours. The powerful will be ripped from their decadent nests and cast out into the cold world. And we know 
I will prevail. Who does your writing? Because I hear a lot of I's and me's. Well, I write my own stuff. <laughs> Are you union? <laughs> About ten years ago, I tried my stand-up. <laughs> How did that work out? Uh, well, uh, would you like to hear some of it? Do you have a yeah. club down in the pit? Uh, I, I do. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. I try out my newest material. Can I introduce you? Boy, this flight in was difficult. <laughs> How hard was it? Those <laughs> flight attendants. <laughs> my God, they're going to let you use cell phones up there. I... I'd settle for a decent bag of peanuts. Thank you. Your material sucks. Thank you. <laughs> so you suck. All right, there's, I wanted to tell you something I thought you'd find interesting. Yes. You know, we don't have a lot of common ground. Right. Uh, but you know who came trick or treat? When I take over Gotham, there I will let you share in the spoils. Blah, 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 <laughs> yeah, we've blah, heard it all blah. before. But make no mistake, blood will be shared. Guess who came <laughs> trick or treat? Guess who came trick or treat at my house last night? Who came trick or treat? Batman. Oh, you hurt me. <laughs> he was he was Bruce little. Wayne, he was a little guy. Cut me to the quick. <laughs> I will have my revenge. Revenge will be my take control. Take control of your city, Gotham. This is not Gotham. No, this no. is Manassas. Oh, that's easy pickets. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but the question is, do you want it? Hold on just a second. Yeah. I have a thought. Yeah. Perhaps we will take Manassas before we take Gotham. You think that's a good idea? I know. Manassas is Achilles' heel. <laughs> what is it? I will occupy every chicken restaurant <laughs> and homes of the used tires. <laughs> it's the Michael Mara Show. You can listen to the Michael Mara Show at www.michaelmarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the <laughs> Michael Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. Do you believe in ghosts? Some people believe in them, others do not. Personally, I do. And I feel sure that when you leave this theater, you too will believe in ghosts. Now, when you came in, you were given a special ghost viewer you? like this. Yes. And here's how it works. Would you please change the color of the screen? Screen. Thank you. Thank you. You must only use it. Use it. When the screen changes to this kind of a bluish color. Bluish. Then you raise the viewer to your eyes. To your upper plate. And you look at the screen through it. Yes. If you believe in ghosts, you look through the red part of the viewer. Part of the viewer. If you do not believe in ghosts, yes. you look through the blue part. Yes. Have Would a you please change the color again? And give me a cigarette. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, when the screen resumes its normal color, resumes like this, remove the viewer from in front of your eyes, eyes. until the next time the screen becomes blue. Screen. Oh, one more thing. Yes. If someone sits down next to you during the picture... It would be helpful if you would show him or her how the viewer should be used. Yes. And remember, if you believe in ghosts, Dentures. look through the red part. Yes. If you don't believe in ghosts, ghosts. look through the blue. <laughs> Happy haunting. <laughs> Goodbye for now. Okay. Shall we go? Yeah. It's the yeah, Michael Mera Show. Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana. And now, from his easy chair, here's Mike. Live from Studio 1K in the Fiberflex Broadcast Center, this is the Mike O'Mara Show. We are downloaded worldwide over 20 million times and powered by Encore Insurance. We're at MikeOmaraShow.com, 102.9 FM WTNT in Washington, D.C. And the mighty 1630, any more gain, Rob? And the mighty 1630 KCJJ in Iowa. We were playing with Vane and I think that's why you turned me down a little bit. Uh, our show today is brought to you by our good friends at Encore Insurance Services, Yay! LLC. For a free life insurance quote, visit smartterm.com or call this number and do it today. Help us out. 866-347-5748. You help us out, you help yourself out. Exactly. They will do all the work for you. Encore will compare rates to help you save. Licensing and disclaimer info at smartterm.com. Encore Insurance Services, please, to be the the charter sponsor of Omericon 2013. Yeah. We are delighted to have them as our official sponsor for Omericon 2013. And once again, give me, let me give you the information. It's smartterm.com, or you can call them at 
748. If you have been thinking about life insurance for your family, which yes. you all should do, got to do it. Encore goes out and samples everybody. They get the best rate, and then they uh, best rate, and then they get back to you. And uh, we love Encore Insurance Services. We're so happy that they're uh, sponsoring our Big America on 2013. We're very happy. About Excellent that. friends of the show and have been for a long time. And we call them oh the best. No Encore. Encore. That's what it is. It's been a while. <laughs> Guess who had wine last yeah, night? Yeah, Candy Hangover. Rob had wine. I did. What? Because did. Rob was instructed. You cheat. We, no, no, no. He no. was not a cheat. I was. We instructed Rob that because we're uh, going to be doing the live show and he's been on this program oh, where he hasn't right. uh, you know alcohol has not touched his lips at all touched yeah. my lips last night and uh it did it touch your how many do you have did you have a bottle about a bottle yeah it, so that did that knock you on your ass i slept so good <laughs> i haven't slept like that in 60 days <laughs> what is it like when you go uh you know two months and then you finally enjoy does it's it fantastic. affect you more or no, yeah yeah fantastic. it was fantastic. cheaper <laughs> it, it saves, saves a lot of money in the long run but did it was you drink great. good vino or did you drink cheap uh costco vino in a box uh it was not in a box it was Woodbridge. Woodbridge, Woodbridge Cabernet. It's, I like it. Okay, so was it uh, now Woodbridge? Classic. I know because I'm a connoisseur of uh, all things alcoholic. Yes, Woodbridge occasionally has the uh, atomizer jug of wine. Yes, you know the the oversized vessel oh, like the party. Yeah, the party wine. Really, yeah. it's a one seven five. I think right. Uh, pioneered by Ernest and Julio Gallo because mm-hmm. they were the ones that had the big old jug of wine. Yeah, and then wasn't uh, Carlo Rossi who said, "But mostly, I like to drink it." I like drinking it. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, how many did you have? The regular. It was the big one, but I didn't. I drank the equivalent of one bottle of wine. I didn't complete the big bottle. Wow. If you complete the big bottle, sometimes you don't make it to work. What were you day. watching on uh, the? Tea we uh, or were you were you drinking the wine while trick or treaters were coming to your house? It began then, yeah. and then I watched a little bit of The Wolfman because it's one of my favorite good black and white scary movies. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, it's a good one. It's not a many real good one. Have. And then uh, <laughs> not certainly many. not in the last sixty years. <laughs> not the Blu Ray is beautiful. Born after nineteen sixty, yeah. have. But then you know the trick or treating sort of wound up, and the kids came back inside, and they didn't want to watch it. So we watched The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, and then we watched. After Robert went to bed, Rosemary's Baby. Oh, see, that's cool. Mm, I watched that. a uh, pay-per-view More called... nudity than I remembered in Rosemary's Baby. Really? Which made it a little awkward with my daughter, so I just pretend I wasn't seeing it. Uh, is it Mia Farrow that gets naked? Or either that or a Mia Farrow breast double. I mean, there's not a lot of like Mia Farrow's face and her breasts, but there boy, are breasts in it. Boy, that's such a powerful uh, horror movie that I don't even I remember. Don't remember the, I didn't remember the nudity either. Really? And also, but la, the, la, la, la. still the scariest thing is the cast of us. Oh, my God. Julia has a friend over for Halloween, and it's Katie. And you've met her. She's great. Yeah, and they didn't dress up, though, right? No, no. They just handed out candy on the porch. And uh, she had never really experienced the beauty of a Ruth Gordon motion picture experience. (laughs) And it got very funny because every time you hear the knock on the door in the movie, and it's... I just brought you some chocolate mousse. You have to eat it. (laughs) Well, that movie, the thing that makes that movie (laughs) scary is that Ruth Gordon was a quirky, crazy comedic character actress that made it all and the they more threw effective. her into this horror movie this sweet little like goofy kind of old lady that's you know ends up being one of the the evil and people have you ever seen rosemary's no, baby I haven't. rosemary's baby is a film that 100 percent holds up holds up really? well it's one of those great combinations of a movie that really shows you the time it's in mm-hmm. yep. where you'll see older new york and what new york was like in the 1960s yep. but at the same time the story is so powerful compelling and it's it transcends the decades Great and that filmmaking. is I'll that is a that weekend. is a flat out one of the greatest scariest movies i put that on the show prep today when i was talking about we don't have enough i watched a pay-per-view that had anna paquin and it called trick-or-treat that was just a, a series of Sounds short great. stories it sucked it was terrible <laughs> it was really it was really really horrible i think Bad. the reason you want your money back that's, horrible? oh yeah. just terrible dollar 99 gone yeah. Yeah. Reason, i started to watch the exorcist on pay-per-view that's when you know you're real lazy wow where you go to that and then don't you have the dvd i've got the dvd you, but you know it's just like you sit there and you <laughs> click and point and then it comes up on my screen and i realize they weren't it wasn't even the high def version of it. No, they just want your money. It was. I'm like, yeah. okay, and it's I mean, your DVD. I'm, I'm scrambling because I was going to sit back and watch The Exorcist on Halloween, and uh, I ended up watching this movie, Trick or Treat. Uh, great actors in it, Re- really talented short, actors. In short it. subjects, right? Little short, like, like Tales from the Crypt, almost like a comic book type of thing. Yeah, Tales yeah, yeah. from the Crypt, and just not good. And it made me think about. I always talk about comedies are rare. Great comedies and movies are very rare. They don't come along that often. The really great ones that are iconic yeah. that you think about for, for years and years yeah. and yeah. years. However, the same can be said for great horror I suspense think movies. even rarer. I think absolutely rare. Because you know what? I think sometimes you can, with dumb luck, 
come up with a comedy. Right. But for a horror movie to really work, there's a lot of skill involved. Right. One of the reasons that Rosemary's Baby holds up is the surreal way they they sure. they screw with your mind in that yes. movie in a way they've ne- they had never done up to that point. And Hollywood is lazy. Oh. Hollywood is lazy, so they don't do that. They rely on special effects. Right, and, and that's special not effects do nothing for me in a movie like that. What's right. an amazing movie? The last great real scare I had in a theater was Silence of the Lambs. Where really? my, yeah. my flesh crawled. But you know what? That's Paranormal one, Activity was, like was probably the most recent probably was yes. Paranormal yeah, Activity. But think that again, cool. the reason that Silence of the Lambs works is it's a mind F. Right. It, all the horror happens, yeah. really, I've the bulk that. of the I horror the happens way. in your head. Like, like The but, Exorcist. Even though Exorcist had a lot of special effects. The Exorcist was actually in the running for a viewing last night, but I don't think I want to put my kids... I don't want to subject them to that yet. They haven't seen it yet? No, I didn't see it until I was like 28. And look, kindly loosen these straps. I love seeing that guy. Y'all got us. <laughs> We're all in here. So you disagree with uh, Silence of the Lambs being the last really... I like well, Paranormal I mean, that was an Academy Activity. Award. Paranormal Activity. But that, I'll, Carrie, watch that, I'll watch that on pay-per-view, the new ones. But with the Silence of the Lambs, we're talking about Academy Award. I mean, yeah. Clearly, about it's really, great. And, and not, I wouldn't even put it into the but genre. But the Saw movies freak me out, too. Yeah, but see, with the Saw movies... Yeah, you get that freak out, oh, yeah. but do you really remember? Yeah, do you take away from it? This do you really is a great remember? Movie. You go back to it's hard to go back to a Saw movie no. because you've seen once you've seen the Carnage yeah. and you've seen I don't Jigsaw see again. It it doesn't work for me yeah. as as much. Carrie said the Conjuring was very good. Uh, Very frightening. Did you that. see that? F- uh, uh, Vera Famig- Famig- Oh, my What's girl. What's her name? Uh, Familia, I think. Famigula. Uh, she's also... Famigula. Get the, a name that we can pronounce. She's the mother in the show uh, Bates Motel. She plays Mrs. Bates. And that's and supposed she, to be a great television I've, show, I bought too. that whole run on Blu-ray. I love this, that This show. is the time of year I really sort of get into watching that kind of stuff. It's really... And I, I'm sure everybody else... I thought the basic cable... You would cable, love Bates Motel. It's good. Basic cable wasn't offering enough last night. I wanted more. I wanted... Uh, I think every uh, channel should be running the horror movies on a night like that's this. That's fair. Because, yeah, you know, Jason, you, 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 Freddy. A little, a little breeze kicked up last night. Were they the disc jockeys? It's a, it, yeah. But you <laughs> like... Jason, <laughs> Freddy in the morning. The problem with Saw, <laughs> the problem with Hostel, the problem with Friday the 13th, yeah. with Halloween, with all those... The, the slasher films just don't... Even Scream doesn't Scream have... Scream 1 was excellent. Yeah, but it's not... But the slasher films, when you see the knife go through the throat, yeah. it doesn't... It, it just diminishes it. What the real scare is, is... When she's walking down into that asylum, and she's going to meet Hannibal Lecter for the first time, True. It's and you're out of your mind scared. It really is. Paranormal activity, to a certain extent, it's wait, 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 wait. And then, boom. But then they got to deliver. Yeah. They got to have the sight gag. They got to do that. A true and, movie, a true horror movie has to exist in your head, because if you see it explicitly, it, it, it's over. Yeah. Her name is Vera Farmiga. Farmiga. And what's funny is the second biggest Google search, people are weird. When you type her name in, her name comes up and then it says Vera Farmiga feet. Oh, <laughs> that is not okay. Um, just going back to Rosemary's Baby, it was actually produced by the guy Mike was making fun of in the show open, William Castle. Was it really? Because he got the book cheap and he owned the rights to wow, it. Wow, I didn't know that. But that's why he retired a very rich man. He yeah. lived movie to movie all through the 60s, but right. then he retired on Rosemary's Baby Money. He got very close to ruining that film because he tried to almost gimmick it up. Rosemary's Baby should be on your list. I'll watch yeah, it. Yeah, you watch, watch it this weekend. Yes. He wanted William Castle and Roman Polanski were at each other's throat because Castle says, you have to show the baby's eyes. You have to show the baby. You have to show the baby. People are buying a movie Roman ticket. Roman Polanski didn't want to do he it. He said, there is nothing we could do as horrifying as the people's imagination. Absolutely. And that's why, and that's why the movie works. Yeah, and, but they do show the baby's eyes. A little Yeah, bit. but they shouldn't a have. Roman Polanski was absolutely right. That's my bit. point. But it's they don't a, show the baby, though. But Roman Polanski knew that, and, and, and to a certain extent, you know, there's graphic violence in the uh, Silence of the Lambs, but right. more of the fun is that guy, that scary guy. Mm. I, I'm a connoisseur of scary movies. Yes. I'll go to the slasher films, mm. uh, but but really, when you see the special effects and the makeup and the blood and the gore, it's not nearly as scary as I like the going up the stairs, yeah. walking down a hallway to the doorway to see what's on the, the other suspense. side, yeah. and the, and the reaction. Because it reminds you of when you bought this house. <laughs> Are those shoes in the wall? <laughs> I like the reaction too. You know the reaction. Yeah. yeah, I just I, I I wish they'd make more. 
quality horror movies, but it's hard to it's hard to do. And it's you know not what? an easy task. It's very difficult to well, do. Well, because you know, Saw makes ten times more than a movie like The Conjuring. Yeah, people want to see The Conjuring the is a good movie, but it's j- never going to draw the money. There so. were some during the I think the early seventies that were uh, you know Don't Be Afraid of the Dark or something mm-hmm. like that. It's yeah. just a, there are a bunch of I like suspense horror. I, you don't have to take the horror out of it. I like suspense horror a little bit. Uh, oh, you know what? Another good yes. one was the one where what's the one where all the people come in the middle of the woods and they've got the masks on. Why, why are you doing this? And the people say, because you were home. Oh, I don't know. Oh, is it the house at the end of the... Not uh, Cabin in the Woods. No, it's... Uh, it's it, they've all got... Pony, help me out here. It's, uh, are they, they camping? They, they, no, they're, they're... It's Friday the 13th. It's a oh. couple, and they're, they decide they're going to break up, and uh, and they're at this the, the father's the house. <laughs> is it The Strangers? And uh, It's The Strangers! Okay. Oh. It's The Strangers! Oh. That... Is a that is a scary movie that lingers with you. Now it gets a little gory at the end, sure. But most of the movie is just the the suspense, you know. And you see the lady with the blonde hair. You, have you seen the strangers? No, you've never seen the strangers. No. Have you I know seen what, it? What a stranger is, it. but that's complete in a different. My kid, my father always told me to stay away from strangers, and I took it in a, a very broad sense. So I never saw the film. All right, well, let me uh, let me ask you, Hangover Twins, today. What exactly. Hangover? Stop it. Not uh, hangover. I let me, rule. Let me, let me let me ask about it. Well, I know you have a Hangover. That goes without saying. Yeah. Yeah. When I saw Jesse Pinkman, and uh, and incidentally, <laughs> uh, the Black Swan. May I congratulate the Black Swan on uh, actually made my prep today. Really? Uh, yeah, uh, Shannon was dressed as the Black Swan. Yes, absolutely amazing. Quite fat. Did she win? Did she win anything? Uh, no, uh, no, no. Hey, no. every she, day she wins something. Well, she wins the company of Oscar Santana. That's yeah. Funny. Who doesn't all want that, free, baby? All the free meth you want. Yes, sir. <laughs> and Jesse Pinkman. Uh, how many Jesse Pinkmans were at your Halloween party? They were. We were. At, we went to Georgetown. Okay, so, so we were. So how out. many Jesse Pinkmans were in Georgetown? I only saw like three. Really? A bunch of uh, and half the people were like hazmat guy. I'm like you jerks. Oh, well, they didn't I'm, know they the Breaking Bad. I'm a drug dealer. <laughs> you know what? You can Leave see more Jesse Pinkman's than that on any day other than Halloween in Georgetown. <laughs> Hey, Just no, by walking the streets. Gotta be honest with you. You don't go to Georgetown to see the Jesse Pinkmans, okay? You're I can take you to see the Jesse Pinkmans down at our local Walmart. That's right true. Here. And you know what? Easy I got about forty of them in the store right now, and much more free parking. <laughs> Absolutely. I had to I, explain to people what my costume was. I wow. Might, I might start to take. Uh, that might be a it. hobby. You know, have people of Walmart. Yeah. I might. Uh, I might start taking pictures of Jesse Pinkmans and Manassas. You could do that. Pinkmans of Manassas. Hey, how you doing? Need some gas, bitch. <laughs> So you uh, you did the real big night. Full you went into suit. Georgetown. Yes. And Shannon, uh, she probably spent a good three hours putting her costume together. And she, she looked, looked just like the Black Swan. How, how crazy was it in Georgetown? Because it's bad when Halloween falls on a Thursday. Uh, you know what? It was crazy. Because I hadn't spent a, ho- a Georgetown Halloween probably in six or seven years. I've never gone back and since I for- Don and I did it like years ago and were attacked by a McDonald's French fry. And I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that a um, lesson learned though that the amount of people that go down there is truly overwhelming. Yeah, truly and, and overwhelming a little, and a little dangerous. Was yes. there was there any? Because I mean, uh, the the certain elements of the city of Washington D.C. Yes. tend to prey on the weak on Halloween because there are a lot of people um, on the streets. Oh, yeah. I didn't see any crime. I do know that Todd actually took a viral video of one of my neighbors. She was dressed up as a cartoon sized squirrel, <laughs> uh, and she went. And this is alcohol, and probably not the safest thing, but she went into the street and pretended to be a squirrel, like a real squirrel, but yeah. she's like six feet tall. Not too much alcohol happening there. Yeah, a lot of fun. And, uh, Do they serve alcohol in Georgetown? Yeah, and, uh, and, <laughs> oh, and Tomo was a... Uh, he was Shannon, totally how come you didn't put a picture of your black swan costume on your Facebook page? Come on. Shannon's probably sleeping right now. She wow. little, she yes. still, still Halloween for her? Oh, when I woke up... I heard, and I was like, uh, hey, uh, what's going on? And she, I said, don't you have a couple classes to teach? She said, yes. I said, well, time to take a shower. Start your day. I'm going to work. <laughs> Let's see. if I want to see if we uh, got no, that. No, she was actually She's, much better off that, than Did you see this, Rob? Did you see her? Oh, yeah. There's, I saw the one picture. She's gorgeous. Really great job. Did she do her own eye makeup? She did everything. And remember, she got the AC Lens uh, costume contacts. Oh yeah! So she, oh, had wow. red so eyes. she did the red eyes. Yeah, she had the red eyes. Wow! Uh, you, yeah. get, you know how I know they're that, uh, especially Oscar and Todd. You know how I know they're they're power drinking. How they're power drinking because we get the initial picture and, and then nothing, nothing, yeah, it is. nothing because it's party it's party central last. No night. times for pics. Do when pic- you're doing shots. No pictures exist at all. Uh, no, I'm sure they're out there. Okay, maybe no, I don't know. What was sure. Tomo? Who was Tomo? He was Tony Stark, Iron Man. <laughs> okay. No, well, what, what are you going to say? Don't be mean. No, it just what was saying? boring. What's a boring costume? Well, you know. It's a boring costume. And his, it's like uh, basically putting his a friend suit was on. Pepper Potts. 
Pepper Potts? Yes. The assistant. Is she a new one or is uh, well, what she do you mean a, a, new one? a new one in the stable? Or uh, no, 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 I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, no. It's like, does he have a new girlfriend? Or he doesn't something? have a new girlfriend. Was that, this was a date? A friend. A friend? Friend. friend. Benefits oh, from that friendship? You got what I need. So how many uh, Was joints? girl with you? Oh, girl showed up. She was a hit. What, what did she you, what? was a pink Power Ranger. Oh, really? Yeah, and they were, they, the guys were swarming. Now, girl, that's the second costume because girl put up. Uh, did anybody see the picture of girl when she uh, put her Miley Cyrus yes. costume up online? She, girl had wow. three. Costumes, she can pull it off. Yeah. Three costumes. Really? Three separate costumes. That's great. But mm-hmm. she was a pink Power Ranger last night. So how was your Halloween? Tell I, me had, I had a great Halloween. It ended as usual Halloween's end. This is the with, Hardy's trying with, with a big fight. <laughs> you know and, what? Stay tuned, uh, folks. No, it ended with a big oh, fight. Oh, it was horrible. Like with you and your lady. Oh yeah. Oh come on. The what black happened? Swan, a swan won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. And yeah. the black swan yeah. won. Yeah, she won. What were you doing? Uh, I didn't. What did I do? What Why did you am do I? Wrong? I am the victim in this. What did you do wrong? I don't remember. But <laughs> I will say. Oh, God. This is that a Friday. She did, Thanks for coming in today. She did leave. She did leave. She um, left Georgetown? She, no, she left uh, our condo at one, mo- uh, one moment. Uh, I would say. Like left the place where you live with yeah, her? Yes. Yes. She did. might have done that. And oh, then, because uh, you were so being so badly behaved? No. I was a 10. I'm a 10. <laughs> <laughs> there had to be some reason. I don't Oscar. remember. Oh no! But um, like blackout, don't remember, or is it fuzzy? Or it's, it's really fuzzy. Can you paint it's, in broad uh, strokes? No way, I could even tell you in broad strokes. Wow. I just remember her leaving. Is it hard for her to stomp out angrily when she's dressed up like the ballerina? I was gonna do. I promoted. She did a pair of wet yesterday. <laughs> For the bonus hour, I promoted the uh, bonus show that we were going to do. We were going to solve the world's problems. Right. Didn't exactly go like that on the bonus hour. The bonus hour this week is really incredible alcohol stories that we all had, including mine, which was just bearing my soul. You know what? You know what? I know it's a good show. What? It's a good show where later in the afternoon, I'll reflect back on the yeah. bonus hour and regret the fact that I shared so much with you. I don't audience. think that there's a regret to be had in that entire bonus show. Well, I regret that people are not going to hear it. If you don't hear it, your life will be paved with regret. Yeah. Rob, that sounds like such a naked could chill. No, but it's so great. My it biggest you told, regret you, was... I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say that Mike told a story that he has never told... Never shared. ...with detail that I didn't even and know. And my question so to you, Oscar, yes. is that all that talk of the fun and frolic that really, as people that like an occasional cocktail, yeah. did that kind of ramp you up and get you kind of motivated for last What night? ramped me up was <laughs> that after the show... I went and did a ton of work at Todd's, at Todd's house. I like okay. working in his house, right? right? And then I go to CrossFit. I get home, and my girl is already dressed up like the black swan. But I had just walked in the effing door, and I am dying. I'm tired. I'm sure. hungry. Right. And she said, you have 15 minutes. The cab's going to be here in 15 minutes. Get dressed. <laughs> And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the hurry? It's 6 p.m. Okay. I can identify a problem right now. So there was bad blood from the very yes, beginning, yes. you were annoyed. Yeah, I'm slaying you were the hustled. dragon. <laughs> you were I'm trying to keep it tight. <laughs> I'm walking in with my bags, my satchels. <laughs> Valises, your grips. slaying the dragon all day. <laughs> right. And yes, I'm happy she had four hours to get dressed and she's ready to go at six. <laughs> I'm happy you can, uh, life of leisure, I'm happy that you can oh, do that. Oh, no, now she works. Stop that. That's terrible. And that's probably what precipitated oh, 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 yeah. the altercation. Oh, yeah. Yes. And, uh, and the fact that she so the suit that I have was a really a real hazmat suit. Right. Like, really, you, you can really cook meth in it. Yeah, but I would say that your suit and your Halloween costume was relatively easy to put together. Yes. And but, he didn't even put it together. But at the end of the night, Shannon was dancing all over my suit and making ripping big holes in it so I kept on tripping over all night. And she thought that was funny. Okay. We'll Sounds come back. pretty funny. We're not done with this. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more. You, ladies and gentlemen, are listening to The Mike O'Mara Show. I'll always remember this song because it's when I announced that I was going to be a daddy again. Yes. That's right. I will always have a soft spot for, uh, does anybody know what time it is? I forgot I, I always... about that. You requested you were going to talk it up. That's and you right. you called for it. Yeah. I'm going to be a father. Yay. Yay. Wow. Uh, this... So every time I play it, does Carla get pregnant? Yes. Oh, She's the... pregnant right now. Stop it. Stop you play it. That. Don't play it. I'm not the father this time. But of course Carla not. gets pregnant. Uh, <laughs> This segment of the program brought to you by eVoice. If you're an entrepreneur and a customer calls you, do you want to seem like you're in a high rise? What does this say? If you're an entrepreneur and a customer calls, do you want to seem like you're in a high rise window view fancy pants office? Yeah, you do. That's how you want to seem. Is this your copy? No. 
Is this your copy? No, I don't write copy. I can barely read. If you're an entrepreneur and a customer calls, boy, this is going to be one for the ages. Isn't this is it? A, yeah, make sure the air check gets right out. Here's the point. We use eVoice all the time. I know, I know It's very nice that we have this copy from the good people at eVoice. Yes. But I will tell you. You don't need it because you believe in the product. Well, we use it. We do. As a matter of fact, the uh, eVoice line is open at all times for the Mike O'Mara Show at 800-440-8167. eVoice. Forwards all your business calls to your home, your mobile, or any number you choose. Wherever you are, eVoice will find you. What eVoice is designed for is for the people that can't afford to have the huge staff of people right. manning the phones all day. With eVoice, you can create the appearance of an entire building. Sales. Customer support, tech support, you name it, eVoice has it for you. And if you don't have time to take a call, it's routed to your voicemail, and you can read it at your convenience as an email as well. Uh, Pony was talking about this the other day. We get the calls that come in, and it's really funny because people are leaving, like, funny gag calls for us at our number. Yes, yes and, and Pony loves shtick. And then it's transcribed. <laughs> To uh to an email that yeah, we right. get and uh, but they also will give you a voicemail so I asked Pony I said we should play some of the voicemail and I said Pony where are the voicemails and he's like uh, 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 uh. so uh, Pony when he figures it out we'll it's get right be terrific. you know it'd be better just have Pony read them <laughs> now you can try eVoice for free for thirty days just go to MikeOmeraShow dot com and click on the eVoice banner that is our website MikeOmeraShow dot com and click on the eVoice banner eVoice not only gives you an edge over your competitors it takes away the edge the big companies have over you. The little guy. It helps the little guy at eVoice. Again, a free trial. Remember Amen. That. Yeah, it. Give it free. a try. It's worth it. We love it. We're very, very satisfied with it, and uh, we think you will be, too. Getting back to Halloween, Oscar had his uh, Georgetown uh, yes. evening. Yes, he did. You're funny. And a fight. <laughs> I know. Exactly. Georgetown and a fight. You, uh, Rob and I had boring uh, Halloweens at home. Uh, Rob drank a little wine. I was alcohol-free. Good for uh, you. Well, it was the morning after the uh, Red Sox victory. That's so, true. Uh, I, you know, I can't do it every night, everybody. I can't you can't do it. Did you have a no, lot of trick-or-treaters? Uh, we had trick-or-treaters. More than the, the normal, yeah. a little earlier. Did they all speak English? Uh, no, they were, they, you know, it's overwhelmingly what is, skewed towards English speaking. Really? What is yes. the, how do you say trick-or-treat in Spanish? Oh, stop it. I don't even know how you say that. You know that. what? The, the, kids, the kids that come from Hispanic <laughs> families and mine neighborhood actually uh, are probably better at saying trick-or-treat than the other kids, really? in my humble opinion. Yeah, and that's a pet peeve. I wrote it down, okay? How was your Halloween? Uh, I wrote down three pet peeves that I have for the holiday. Okay, and I cool. usually, they vary from year to year, but one of the things I don't have any time for, I don't dig the adults who trick-or-treat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just not With right. The adults dress up, or the adults. This ask was. For candy? I only had one. Mm. She was about a sixty-year-old broad that baby talked. Uh, Hi, Tiki uh, uh, You know, um, just like I mean. Uh, and it's like, okay, wow. dress up. Wow. Go out with your kid. Yeah. That's okay. Come to the door. But well, you don't get candy. Yeah, you what, don't. What candy do you is for the children. Give her Vicodin. <laughs> Something Merlot, Some, yeah, exactly. That's what I she am needs. Not trick or treating for Merlot. I was amazingly uh, devoid of what I call the borderline trick or treater, like the eighth grader that doesn't oh, dress up. That, well, we that go. puts together like a. You know what's good is they'll come out in like a football uniform because yeah. they play football. Right. Like, trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat, right. Mr. Spiewak. I didn't have any of that, but Julia broke my prime directive last night. Neither of my kids went out. They've reached the age where they're not what doing it anymore. What is the age that you stop? I, I had a kid. 10, I had a kid 10. one year come up and I said, "What are you?" She, he said, "I'm a kid." And I went, okay, I'm an unpleasant adult. No candy for you. Good for you. Oh, Sent him, sent him on his way. Yeah, not a fat kid. Uh, it's just, <laughs> it's, so this lady comes to only one, and we all noticed her because she liked it. She was long in the tooth. She appeared to be an older 60s, lady. Uh, she was 70s. Dressed, dressed as uh, Cleopatra. I'm going to say late 50s, <laughs> late 50s to early oh, 60s, probably. Yeah, yeah. And baby talker, which of always course. freaks me out. Do you think she had a home? I, think she, she I don't know. It, never seen her in the neighborhood before. Oh, so she came from out of town. It came from out of town. That's nice. So that's pet peeve number one. Don't do that. Don't come to my no. house when you do that. No. Uh, and then it's the kids who don't say trick or treat. I'm with you. you have it's to say a that. minor effort, Junior. Yep. And mom and dad, if they're little... You say it for them. Yes. And if they're a little older than little, little, then you treat teach them to say it. it's the first sign of of etiquette and being polite, and it's the what you do on the holiday. You don't just come up and like grab the candy out of the. Barrel. At my home, there is a three point process. First okay. of all, there is a required trick or treat. Then I say, 
and who are you tonight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Explain uh, your costume. And I make them do it. And if it's some like little kid that's like a, a girl in a princess outfit with a winter coat, yeah. which is a great look because the parents say, well, you can go out as a princess, but you have to be in the winter coat. I will call them on <laughs> I it. I agree all that crap. I'm so uh, I'm down with all that I stuff. Say, so, I say, so I'm a princess. I said, in a winter coat. You're a princess? Really? <laughs> Ball buster. <laughs> and she Rob. says, my mom Big, made me do it. oversized head then, Rob. But then I say, you know what? You're a you're a princess from a very cold climate, and here is your candy. <laughs> you're the you're the snow queen. And then and then if they don't say thank you, I say, and what do you say? Oh, and I, I make them say thank you. You know why? They have to earn it because so, they, Julia was outside making it way too easy. So for the winter right. coat and uh, can be the snow queen, or the uh, platform shoes with the tube top can be the snow queen. That's from true. Studio Fifty Four. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's the yeah. Snow Queen, and, and also with a five-year-old dressed as Andy Warhol. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then the third, I got the third one. Here's the third yeah. pet peeve. I only have three. Yeah. Stop uh, the parents don't come to the door uh, rule. Okay, you stop that rule. I want parents. I don't care. You come to the door with your kids. The ones that oh, stand yeah. out down on the the, the yes, end of the street. I agree. Home, I don't dig. That. Why not? Now there's certain parents that do it because the kids, Dad, I want to do it on my yeah. own. That's cool, but not the you know the the ones where that you know you just see them lurking, lurking in the shadows and they don't say anything. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. it just that pisses me off. And then all time the worst of worst. Got about four or five of these last night. The rolling dro- jump out of the car. And get back in oh, the no. while, the, while, the, while the fat mother is sitting there, oh, uh, you know, just and, and you know what? Certainly not in this neighborhood. Like, you know, like, no. This neighborhood is house, 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 this, house. This neighborhood. Look, I think I'm like a lot of neighborhoods. This isn't where you live. You don't trick or treat where you live. You, 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 people trick or treat like they they drive in from other neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah especially if they're like super greedy for the candy. That's the way they do that. I got approached. You know, and I've talked about her numerous times. My C neighbor across the way that likes to talk to me through the window. Yes. Yeah. She. She actually saw me outside with the candy, mm-hmm. and she came over and became my best friend last now, night. Now, why would she have been motivated to do that? Because, because you were she, outside, you were available? Because the original reason she hated me is that I refused to go outside to hand out candy. The original reason is that I made kids come up and knock on oh, the door. So Remember, like, this was the lady that called. Because yeah. for, we should point out that here uh, in the Washington, D.C. area, it was a very nice evening. Beautiful. Very pleasant, very temperate, and uh, we sat outside, too, because it was just more convenient. And so way. I come out to watch the girls hand out the candy a little bit. They handled most of it, and we couldn't really have them come to the door because Linus goes nuts every time ah. there's a knock at the door. So she comes up, oh, Rob, you don't. Let me, let me do it better. I'm sorry. Rob, <laughs> you don't never come out on Halloween. It's so good to see you. And ah. I, hot, boozy breath. <laughs> Is she, who's the celebrity she most resembles? Uh, I would say she's a little, a young, lovely Phyllis Diller. <laughs> I said, wow. you on the porch, I never thought I'd see the day. Isn't it wonderful? We're having so much fun. You must come over. And I'm over here. And oh, my, my God. And, and you know what? I can come over and visit because my neighbor is handing my candy out. She is sitting in the garage, and it's so much fun. And, oh, I hope I know that now there's so many children this year. So many children. And I don't oh, want to bring the children. And all I want to do is wow. go inside. <laughs> and I go in, and I say, Gary, what? guess who's my best friend now? <laughs> Was <it>? Pam! <laughs> she won't Pam. leave me alone! Pam. And I was going, I, it, was, it was great because she finally said, well, I've really got to go inside now. <laughs> and I go in and you can hear the door shut, doorknob, <laughs> click, deadbolt, thunk, because I want nothing to do with it. Well, you won't have to see her for a Later, year. Later, Pam. No, but you know, we, we Kick do. Rocks. It is a good time for neighbors. And I love like, you know what, you talk about a grown-up that comes on. I love a grown-up that is accompanying a kid with a clinking mixed drink. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have the one. Colin's the, dad. We have the people that have the beers. <laughs> yeah. We have the people who do the beer tour. There I was one. I respect that. Though. I respect that. Hey, That's fine. Hanging out. That's the, yeah, it's now, nice. See, those it's very nice. But those are the parents that come up and say, hey, yeah. they make it a social evening yes. with their kids. I like that. And then uh, then one of the trick-or-treaters, there were very little kids, and there were a couple of moms that came up. Mm-hmm. And uh, and they, they came up, and uh, there was cute little kids. And the mom said, uh, yeah, we're the uh, neighbors that uh, moved uh, right in and back here. Oh. oh. Really? I said, oh, hi. How are you? Weird. You have a German Shepherd, right? She's like, yes, I do. 
Anyway, it was just. I see a, you didn't get any blinds. It was an interesting. Uh, but <laughs> that was a very interesting moment. I uh, very I, young, I'm very on, very very young. I have the number one podcast in the world. <laughs> Hi, yeah. how are you? No, I'm, I'm quite a celebrity. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the neighborhood. I'm thinking of building a pool now. You can come over any time. <laughs> yeah, you can come right through the bushes. That's right. So uh, sweet. Yeah, it's just. It's, <laughs> It was very nice. Uh, it was nice to meet her. Yeah, guess what? Wow. We didn't get have any of that in Leesburg. <laughs> we we did. Yeah, well, good yeah, for you. Yeah, we did. It's, Too bad uh, she wasn't in an outfit. It was interesting. It was a, but, but very, very young even for a uh, you know a guy like me. You know, And I, I'm a happily married man. So good for you, me. Mike. But, but you know, you, that distinction. you can always look. You can always look. Yeah, She's yeah. much younger than Carla. She Carla picked up on it right away. Carla was sitting next to me right now. Oh, there she goes again. You know, it's like, are you going to stare again? Are you going to stare again? It's like, you know, Carla's funny. And, uh, you know, people stare at Carla all the time. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Uh, and, and rightly so. To be fair, though, if she was much younger than Carla, she probably should have been trick or treating. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate that. We're going to take a break. We will come back with more on uh, Halloween and much fun right here. Got to get the pony and his rat that he wants to go right back on the Michael Mara show. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. There are two reasons why now is the perfect time to start your business with LegalZoom. Oh, yeah. The economy is slowly but surely picking up. It is. You've got to be aware of that. And right now, you can incorporate your business or you can form an LLC at LegalZoom.com for just $99. LegalZoom's online process guides you step-by-step, step and you get total customer support. It couldn't be any easier. LegalZoom can also take care of your wills. It mm-hmm. can take care of your minor legal issues that you don't have to go and pay the exorbitant Trademarks. rates. Trademarks. Yes. You just go to LegalZoom, and you don't have to deal with the big wood-paneled office of a law firm that's going to overcharge you. Yes. LegalZoom provides self-help services at your specific direction. They will help you. Just like a law firm. They can connect you to an attorney. But guess what? What? They're not a law firm. See, that's how it works. So you will save a pile of money. It ain't about the billable hours, people. Don't be intimidated. They walk you through the whole process. Hold your hand. The whole concept of LegalZoom is to provide these services at a reasonable rate for people. All you have to do is go to MikeOmeraShow.com, click the LegalZoom banner, and it's as easy as that. Don't wait on the sidelines while others are taking charge of their futures. Now's the best time to get in the game and launch your business or take care of your personal business that you need with legal zoom don't put it off for incorporation trademark patent all that good stuff go to mikeomarishow.com and click the legal zoom banner remember our website and click on legal zoom so uh, everybody has their uh, day after halloween fun sure uh you obviously haven't patched things up with uh, your significant mm, other I, I my biggest regret was scheduling a 9 a.m meeting with our friend uh kevin from signs by tomorrow ah. at, uh, mm. at our old uh facilities here what time did your what time did your evening end in your humble opinion i would say three ish <laughs> oh you are you're good you're good i yeah. made the meeting you're, 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 i saw kevin shook hands we measured things <laughs> You got uh, came to the studio today. I'm alive. Got about 40 more minutes to hang yeah. on. Yeah. You're gonna be fine. Just one entertainment report away. Everything's good. Yeah. That's from you did that last did you night it? before I left. There you go. Thank He's you. a trooper. That's good. So yeah. you know the news will be fresh. Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> At least 24 hours. Yeah. So Halloween was Halloweeny, and yeah. uh, it was terrific. And uh, you know, it's just something that. Did you uh, carve a jack o' lantern? I did not. Really? I did not. No, I, I, I was disappointed. Mine been a lazy was, year. Mine was the least effort I've put in a jack o' lantern in 20 years because I had to turn it fast. I bought it at 5 o'clock. You bought kids, the pumpkin at 5. You still have kids that are close enough to that age where I think you get into the spirit of it and stuff like I that. I enjoy it, but you know what? When you really go for the triangle eyes, you're not trying, oh, folks. You're no. not trying. But you know what? I also feel if you don't put out the jack of lantern, you're not going to get as many trick-or-treaters. It makes the house look like you're into it. True. So, now, yeah. uh, I want to talk about Pony and his sugar glider because uh, yesterday that was a, a big story. And uh, Breaking news. Cappy, uh, our one Wonderful listener Pony, Cappy Pony, has reached Pony, out to help uh, to, to help Pony with his sugar glider, which is really Bye. terrific. Pony, Pony. Bye. It's Pony time! Get up! Matt Boom wants to buy a rat. Uh, but anyway, uh, now I communicated with Pony Boy, which is just how is that the effort that is required to get any? Clear Did he remember to say trick or treat information? <laughs> He's not that bad. Sometimes no, it's like, I just it's like want doing to know. Are you, how's it going? Are you going to get the the sugar glider? And then it's like me, 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 me. And so I'll He's ask still, him again. He's still in mourning. You should I, be nice. I got one clear <laughs> answer. I said, so you do want to replace it? You want to get another one? And when he replied. He said, Yes to that. Really? But was it like a David Hasselhoff drunk cheeseburger?
burger and yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's half no, half yes. It was, it was, pony, it was pony being pony. Yeah. So, uh, so our friend Cappy reached out to you, right, and said Correct. she wants to help with the uh, sugar glider? Yep. And uh, it's... Yep. Keep so it brief, Pony. Keep it brief. Yeah. So where are you now with the hunt for the sugar glider? I am answering some emails that I got last night, but to be honest, I've had so much work to do, I haven't been able to really do anything. Okay. I understand you He have... is overwhelmed. we got the new site coming out. That's okay. right. He's working on that. So after, say, the site comes out, is that when you're going to focus on it? Because really, to be honest with you, though, Pony, we talked about it yesterday. Yeah. It's top of mind now for you gotta, people you today. You got to strike while the iron's hot. You, you got to, you got, you know, and you got. Listen, you have time to mix your martini. You have time <laughs> to chill out in your one bedroom flat. You you have time to do that. Take the time to pull the trigger on this sugar glider. If it only requires a half hour a day of sugar glider maintenance, you know, to prepare right. the gear and all that. Just set your alarm. If get you, up a half hour earlier, create the time. And also, to, we fall back this weekend. Yeah. You get an extra hour on Sunday. Take that hour. We're yeah. going to supplement you for this. I said that. I will cut the check for you as soon as you tell me what the sugar glider is going to cost. So the time is like now, dude, to yeah. get your sugar glider. I will get on it. Is that I'll what you tell me? Do you, do you do understand what I? Do yeah. you understand this? Here's what I yeah, understand. This is um, something here free. I want this in my life. I want to have this. I will get on it. You I know what I understand? Like, I don't get it. I don't get. Yes, there I'll do are it today. People, I'll do it last we, an hour ago. We have talked in the past about the givers and the takers. Yes. What I don't understand is the taker that makes it hard to be given to. Yes. And that's you're making this yeah. tough on us, Pony. I, we really, you know, we love you. We really, well, let's, really let's not do. overstate things. No, let's let's go. Oh, ahead I don't know him that well. Right. No. <laughs> we love that you're a part of our show. How that's, about that's that? Good. Can that's, we do that? Yeah, that's good. That's okay, fair, right? we're very fond of you as an acquaintance, mm -hmm. and we want to help you. But you have to help us help you. <laughs> okay, I understand. <laughs> that is I'm, fun, Pony. Yeah. Do you have the same reaction when a woman wants to make love with you? Let him. Uh, he'll let you know. He'll remember. let you know when it happens. He takes yeah, her shirt seriously. off, takes her pants off. She's there, stark naked. She wants you to take her, and you say, "Okay." You I don't even remember. I'll get on it. I'll well. get on it. I'll get right on it. So That's where, what she should be saying. If you, if you were motivated, if you, which you don't seem totally motivated, if you were motivated to get a sugar glider, how quickly do you think you could accomplish it? It would probably be about a month and a half or so. A month and a because half? Because you have to go to a breeder. Really? Where do they live? I, South Africa? I went to the Australia. very first website that I looked at yesterday. Bain's pit. And they were, they were, they were showing pictures I've of seen and prices. at the uh, mall, you on, jerk. On the sugar glider. You've seen them at the mall? Yes. I bought one on Amazon. It'll be at my house today. <laughs> You're not going to Australia to pick up your sugar glider. No, but you want to go to a reputable breeder so that you don't get an inbred, you know, yeah, a lot of times, puppy mill type. A lot of times they'll ship you a sugar glider that's actually a chihuahua. <laughs> yes. And you don't want that. Oh, I wish I could dress Frankie up as a sugar glider. Then he'd then he, then he get his sugar glider today. Hey, why don't you take him up to the ceiling or up to the roof, see if he can fly. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, if I could dress Frankie up as a sugar glider, I'd let you take it home. Yeah. Uh, hey, Tony. Frankie. Tony. You no, gotta, I forgot his new name. You Tony Bloom. You, you, have, you have to expedite this. Yeah, you really got to fast yeah. track it. I'll, I'll give it my best shot. But again, best shot. Breeders, it's hard to expedite a process like this because breeders don't usually just crank them out like a puppy mill. You know what? I'm going to go to the website. Right I now. say this. You could probably order one right now. Right. Tony Bloom, if you do mm -hmm. not have a sugar glider glider <laughs> by Thanksgiving. How you doing, Rob? I'm doing great, Mike. <laughs> if you do not have a sugar glider by Thanksgiving, deal is recent. Yes. That is fair. Thanksgiving well Wednesday. Yeah. The only question I asked you. You it stuffing. The only question I asked Pony today was the yes. fact that, do you really want this? Because usually in the heat of battle, sometimes you're like, yeah, I don't want to be bothered with one. And if you don't want to be bothered right now, like if it's too much for, for your Let life. Let us know. No that's big the, deal. You remember that truth thing we were talking to you about, telling the real story? That's the moment right now. This is the moment right now. Is the sugar glider convenient for you in your life right now? Or do you simply want to wait a couple of months because you don't want to deal with it again? I think that I would like to get one right now. I okay. just need, you know, a day or two to finish some of the projects that I'm working on with yeah. the website. Yeah, yeah. God, he uses so many syllables when he talks. <laughs> he so does. So many. Now, um, Tony, <laughs> is it fair? <laughs> is it fair to ask you that uh, you don't really show shit? the right enthusiasm what at the, times? What? The I totally F agree. Okay. 
So you're really inside. You're beaming with joy about your new yes. friend coming to live with you. What is, what is this picture? Uh, that's a sugar glider between a uh, young lady's legs. Is that wow. between the legs or yes. between the boobs? Well, did, you, boobs. did you search sugar glider or sugar walls? <laughs> <laughs> How did we do there? Yeah, right. sugar glider. Do you ever? Is there anything that he's got his enthusiasm? He doesn't show it. Yeah. I've, I've been dealing with this for 10 years. You know what? And you know what? Oscar is right. Because remember when we got him all worked up about his Subaru automobile? <laughs> he's, and we he's shown enthusiasm for that, but in a dark, Yeah, a dark, way. weird way. Right. He's just, he's not one of us. No, he's no, He's a no. different sort. Different sort. All right. Getting to know him. I'll might give you be, an example. You know how we are with stuff like this, where yes. we're just like, we want it now, now, we want now. The, we, Monday, no, no, I want no, him to yeah. come in yeah, cupping yeah, a yeah, little yeah, sugar yeah, glider yeah, in his yeah. hand. That's what I want. Yeah, and his balls. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you've now said you love him, and uh, then you said, said balls. I said we love him. I'll, I'll give you a quick example. I said yeah. we I, love I, him. I'd say to Tony, Tony, Saturday we've got a lot going on here, but I've got these two amazing programmers, uh, our friend Todd and my friend Kenny, that you've met. Mm -hmm. And they're going to help build some of the mobile side of the the new iPhone app for the for the relaunch. Yeah, yeah. for the relaunch. I said, "Do you want to go and be in that conversation? Because this is right up your alley." And he said, "Oh my god, I could probably learn so much from those guys. These are really great programmers." I said, "Okay, then you have to go to Clarendon at noon on Saturday." Right. And he looked at me like, "Do I really want to go to uh, to Clarendon at noon on Saturday?" Mm -hmm. And I said. This is what you want to do for a living, right? Yeah. You want to do what these guys do. You want to learn what they do. These are experts in their field. Right. Come hang out. Be in their, their jet stream. Uh, uh, learn. Uh, network. Do everything you right. can. And he said, okay, I'll be there. And I'm like, does he want to be there or he, does he not you know want to be there? I think he really does. Yes. But it's just it's so hard to get to know him. You know, my father called me on something yesterday. Yeah. He said, you know what's really sad? About Tony? Yeah. He <laughs> said, we were talking about uh, Tony, Tony yeah. Bloom. And he said, what's sad is that you worked with this guy at WJFK and you didn't remember him, but you remembered the rat. Yeah, and you know what? It's it's we're so different than than Matt because we, we don't run in the same circles. That marsupial had more personality than Tony. Well, the I, marsupial was excited. Here's the thing we've established: I will deal with the lack of enthusiasm. That's his personality. Yeah, we can do that. But I believe now we've uh, we've overcome the telling us what we want to hear thing. Right. And I, uh, Pony, I am sure that you really do want to to replace your uh, marsupial, Flappy, and, and Flappy, Flapjack, and the <laughs> new one. And remember, we've already named the new one. Miracle. miracle, miracle. Yes, it, will, it, would that be uh, amenable to you that you would name it miracle? I mean, you guys said you get to name it, so so I, we'll, we'll do yeah, that. Miracle. He's totally in that. See, that's enthusiasm. Nah, there, we go, yeah. there we go. All right, so uh, here's the deal. I'm getting excited now. All right, yeah. so, <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do you one better because I I for some strange reason I desire to lift stress from you because I know you're doing a lot of work for the show. I'm gonna go with the Christmas holidays. Okay. When we take our Christmas break, by that time, do you think you can get this little thing taken care of? I definitely think I can have one by then. Has to be at our holiday show. Okay. It has to be, and it okay. has to have a trick. Will you need? <laughs> will you need the money in advance, or will you need the money after the fact? I would say after the fact. Great. That's, Great. that's even Don't better. Do do. You will bring your little thing in, and you will get the uh, the five hundred dollar check to go towards your your pet. Do you pay for it in a lump sum, or do you finance it? You pay for it in a lump sum. You don't mortgage yeah. anything? No. Okay. Just and, checking. And what about all rescuing a sugar glider? That would be nice as well. Uh, yeah. Well, they have rescues right here. I'm on a yeah. button and bow, Gus Gus and Brownie, <laughs> Captain Jack. <laughs> well, Captain Jack will get you high tonight. Here's a, this is a medium adult sugar glider. Uh, Lucky Glider Rescue Sanctuary in Texas. But may I jump to Pony's defense here? He yes. has been very clear to me, both on and off air, the sugar glider bonds with its owner. And because yeah. of this, you have to get it young so it can forge a relationship. The last thing you want, Mike, is an emotionally distant <laughs> rat. You're not my dad. <laughs> yeah, you're not exactly. my dad. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Would it be fair for you? And I'm going to ask you to volunteer updates. So you let us know. Like, come to me in the morning and say, hey, I got a little information on the sugar glider. Like to know how the process is going. I will do so. Thank you very much. Good talking thank to you. Thank you for th – think about a rescue, please. Thank and you, you know what? Much. Get ready, America, for a bold new era of the Mike O'Mara show. Yes. It starts now. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Boldness. This is going to be great. Well, you know, I'm vicariously living through Pony because uh, my little rat yes. is in solitary right now. He's in the crate. Oh, you mentioned still? yesterday. Yeah, it's raining out. Oh, he's raining out. Yeah, but you he doesn't mind dumping in here when it rains. There was a, a new era of discipline for him. What what happened yesterday? Uh, Carla did it this morning. She okay. took the dogs out. She was up earlier than I was, and she took the dogs out this morning, and Frankie didn't go outside. And now when Frankie doesn't go outside, 
he goes into the crate. Okay. When Frankie, the other discipline that we did, if we somehow leave a door open and uh, that little rodent gets away a, a somewhere in the yeah. house and comes in and drops a little Tootsie Roll in the studio, mm-hmm. we brought, now this, is, this probably doesn't work, but this is what we did. We brought the crate into the studio, the game night. He, he spent the entire game in the crate, in the studio, right in front of where he had pooped. The dog oh, is wow. confused then. What do you mean the dog is confused? Because then you're forcing him to stay in the room that he's not allowed. No, we're forcing him to sit Rob in front of his. We're, we're forcing him to sit in front of his poop. I understand, and who doesn't like that? But <laughs> I do think that you, you want to have him. But it's not that he's not allowed in this room. It's that you know. It's oh, it, I know what we could do. Oh, this is going to be good. So an ele- yeah, 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 <laughs> no, an, an electric fence for a big yard <laughs> yeah. probably costs around a thousand dollars. Right, wholesale, right? Yes. We just get a little fence for this room, so he can't come in here. Yes. Yeah, but it's... it's, it's but, but, and how, it could also be used... Out? It's a business expense because we could use that electric fence to make sure Pony stays in the room. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that as well. Can you wear a collar, it, Matt, it, because we love you? Just I'll do it. <laughs> suffice just to say, you. it is a little... I'm, I'm just trying to d- do different formulas yeah. with him. It, look, he's a little bitty dog... I've got an, an an infant son who is t- now teething, mm. so it is very it is very difficult for me to focus on Frankie all the time right yes. now. And yeah. Frankie is just a little. The thing I don't like about Frankie is he's not affectionate enough to to people. He's a, he's still a little nervous. He'll let you pick him up. Mm-hmm. He'll let you pet him, but he's not a particular. It's not like a golden retriever. You know, a golden no. retriever put his head in your lap and just be like. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Have you, ever, have you ever go to William Sonoma? <laughs> Rob, two you words, can... mandolin slicer. What, what you the do? hell are you? What are you proposing to do to my dog, you beast? Just a little off the hip. <laughs> off he's the high hip. maintenance. He is extremely high maintenance, and he's not particularly friendly. Can I ask a you know, question? He screams at people to come into the house. Let me ask he's a question. He's always that... scared out of his little rat ass. No one wants to either ask or answer this question, but it has to be brought to the front. Yes. Is Frankie worse since the king arrived no really no i i think there might be a shade of it rob maybe a little bit but really not over the top okay well you know what that's good and i'm here to tell everybody the animal lovers out there that might be getting concerned with my little speeches every other week about frankie (laughs) the fact is that frankie is here to stay why don't you just pull Frankie up? is Frankie's here to stay. I'm not getting rid of Frankie. I'm not taking Frankie away. It'd be a great giveaway at the State Theater. <laughs> Think about this. Who has red ticket 827? <laughs> 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 With a crate on stage. Here you go. Take him. He's yours. God love you. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks for supporting America in 2013. Ticket's still available. Get your raffle ticket. What about- or not raffle. It's a door prize, right? Door I can't prize. say raffle. Who the F cares? What about uh, taking a page out of Tony Bloom's playbook and not giving Frankie water for a while? <laughs> no, I'm oh. not going to kill Frankie. No, see how long he can the Frankie, survive. What it is, is it's the, is ongo- it it's the ongoing battle. It's the ongoing battle. What concerns me yes. is when he gets really scared. Like when Big Mike reaches down to pick him up yeah. and he thinks that I'm coming at him too fast and he bears the teeth and he tries to bite me. Not that cool. I, uh, That is totally not cool. And right. I told Carla that. Especially with the young and around. But Carla had a talk with me yesterday. Today about the fact that making noise about Frankie uh, being more comfortable in another home is uh, that ends today. No. We don't do that any longer. Frankie is part of the family. We've had Frankie for years. And <laughs> Rob, no, not wink. I'm wink. sorry, I had something in my eye. Not wink, wink. <laughs> yeah. We are fine. Uh, the other thing, Rob and I uh, checked. Did you see the Ellen DeGeneres uh, costume yesterday? No. I'm such an idiot. Uh, my question that I brought into the show today uh, were those her real boobs? No, they were the plastic of ones. Of course, like like Matt Lauer's. But boobs. Ellen. We yeah. saw a movie one time where Ellen's got some pretty decent cans. I remember her, she had spectacular nipples, if you'll pardon the phrase. She did a, <laughs> one of those movies where she It was like an boobs. HBO thing, right? Yeah. yeah. It, was, uh, it was fun to do that. Not too bad. I mentioned before, uh, my son is teething. God love him. He, uh, really? Yeah, he's having a tough time of it. You can Any feel fever? the teeth. No fever. He's just a... No can, doctor will ever admit that a fever uh, precedes teething, but right. I've seen it a lot of times. Check his temperature. Make you, sure. You can look at the... You know, he's mouthing the, the hand and stuff. He's chewing on stuff. You can tell right. and i can feel with my finger the the, uh, the teeth uh, the nubs are, are coming through Aww. on the uh, on the lower on the lower level and a little bit maybe on the upper level as well poor little here. guy they'll, feel for him they'll be here in time for the sweet corn season <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> sweet corn uh well ladies and gentlemen he had a late night out last night he truly did he was uh Patting all the way through Georgetown with the Black Swan, yes. who he's not speaking to this morning. But uh, 
The fact is, he's here with Oscar Razzi, the Entertainment Report. Work, baby. And, uh, yes, you're a worker bee, and we do appreciate that. And uh, we will be back with Oscar Razzi, Oscar's Entertainment Report, right after this on the Mike Gomera Show. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Uh, the Black Swan, Shannon, had her uh, special red eyes for that last night. Yes. And uh, AC Lens is where she got them. AC Lens is fantastic. We tell you about it all the time. They have a, a easy-to-use website. They have great prices. One-stop shopping for all your optical needs. Uh, meeting the optical needs of the whole family. That's what they do. Free shipping, fast delivery, great customer service. AC Lens is an award-winning company in that department. So they have the best customer service you'll get anywhere. They sell every Every contact lens available in the U.S. with their 365-day guarantee. Carrie uses them as well. Oh, she loves it. She loves them. All purchases are secure. You can order online or go to 888-248-LENS. That's 888-248-LENS. But we like to do it online. That's course, the way you do easy. it. That's the way Carrie does yeah, it, right? It's so easy. Style you can afford, quality you can see. And right now, 20% off all orders and free returns on everything. If you get what's not right, they will take care of that, too. Go to aclens.com. Click on the microphone and enter the promo code T 